Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we have a lot to talk about about this huge storm that'll be impacting the United States by the end of the week that'll bring the risk for significant severe weather including the threat for damaging winds large hail and tornadoes and as well as the threat for a winter storm for much of the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's hop right into this large storm that'll be impacting the United States and this is the day six outlook from the storm prediction center we already have a slight risk of severe weather which includes parts of the lower Mississippi Valley back into the southern plains including East Texas much of Louisiana and as well as Arkansas my expectation with this is that it will probably increase in terms of the overall risk of severe weather across this region as we have a very dynamic setup across this area with a lot of shear in place instability being forecasted and as well as a lot of moisture and if everything that is currently forecasted stays in place there is a pretty good chance that we'll see some significant severe weather across this region and perhaps even outside of this area which we'll be discuss more details on this later in this forecast and for reference by the way day six would include saturday that's what we're looking at with this slight risk of severe weather there could even be a risk on friday and as well as sunday the risk would be much lower though on friday and as well as sunday here's what we're looking at across the united states right now a couple of features to kind of point out we do have a storm that is entering into the Midwest this evening. This will bring a little bit of snow and rain. Not really anything too concerning there. Lots of moisture in the southeast. Cold frontal boundary will push through much of the southeast tonight into tomorrow. And then we have our atmospheric river event that's ongoing in the Pacific Northwest. Look at all of this red up here. That's actually a lot of rainfall that's falling across parts of the Pacific Northwest. The atmospheric river event is what's actually going to bring us that large storm as we head into the later half of this week. So that's where that's originating from. Here Here's the future radar for the next several days so in the midwest and as well as the ohio valley that is where we have some showers and even some snow showers expected tonight into tomorrow morning that's a pretty weak low pressure system any precipitation out of that will be very light in nature once we go into uh, wednesday we'll have a high pressure system dominating much of the united states and unfortunately if you're looking forward to winter like weather with very cold temperatures that's not happening anytime soon this high pressure system will keep us very warm for most of this week this will be our quote-unquote heat dome that we're going to be seeing here in December. A bit of a December heat wave is ahead this week. And then once we go into this weekend, that is when things become very interesting across the United States beginning with Friday evening. That is when we're going to have a storm back up in the northern plains. Pretty strong low pressure system overall. This will bring high winds and perhaps a potential for some blizzard-like conditions in the very far northern parts of the United States back into Canada. That is not the large storm that we're really referencing here in this forecast. The big storm that we're referencing will be going into Saturday. This is going to explode across the southern plains and with a lot of warm air advection out in front of this, cold air advection behind it, this will bring a pretty big cool down first. And then secondly, we are going to be watching for a severe weather threat that'll start in Texas and southeast Oklahoma and migrate through parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, going into Tennessee, Arkansas, perhaps even Alabama as we go into Saturday and as well as into Sunday. Notice how this storm starts to intensify as we go into Saturday afternoon. By the evening hours, we're looking at a pretty large storm here stretching from the Ohio Valley back into the Southern Plains. And notice as we go into late Saturday night, we might even get a wintry mix on the backside of this for parts of Oklahoma, maybe even Northwest Arkansas. This part of this storm is very uncertain though. It could happen further to the North, might even happen further to the South, but it really depends on where this low pressure system goes. When you think about this low pressure system, think about like a hurricane, for example. This system will be tracking across much of the United States. And again, with any hurricane, it's usually gonna have like a cone of uncertainty think of it that way this could easily go a bit further up to the north even further to the south and a 50 to 100 mile difference would make all the difference where this precipitation actually falls and once we go into late saturday into sunday showers and storms continue i would expect two days of severe weather primarily for saturday and sunday i don't think we're really going to see anything on friday saturday would be primarily across this region and then going into sunday we would have this risk likely further off to the east where there would be severe weather in the southeast united states another critical feature with this low pressure system is is we are going to have very sharp contours here. They're very, very tight. And what that means is that the winds behind this low pressure system will likely be quite high. We could have wind gusts upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour, which could definitely cause some havoc on its own and cause some flying trampolines. Once we go into Sunday, that is when this storm goes from a severe weather event into a multi-threat with severe weather and as well as a winter storm aspect. Winter storm aspect would be on the north and west side of this low pressure system. So notice across areas like Missouri and Arkansas, and then 
back into areas like Michigan. But again, this part of this storm is still uncertain. So keep that in mind. Again, don't take this for word for word because again, things could easily change with the snow event that could happen on the back side of this low pressure system. And then once we go into Monday, this low pressure system races off to the north and east with some Arctic air on the back side of it for some parts of the country, but not everywhere. And here's the jet stream. These are your upper level winds. And notice this dynamic setup. We are going to have a very impressive low pressure system in the southern plains as we go into late Saturday. And this would be your jet stream, a strong southwesterly flow across parts of Texas and Louisiana. That will amplify this severe weather potential across the southern states right along the Gulf Coast. Jet stream will get upwards of 110 knots, which again is well off the surface. We're not talking about 110 mile per hour winds at the surface across everywhere. This is again in the jet stream. So well off the surface. But if you are in an aircraft, it might be a different story. You might at least encounter some turbulence. This is going into Sunday. Notice still a strong southwesterly flow in parts of the Dixie Alley. We easily again could see a two, um, basically a multi-part severe weather event where we're both looking at Saturday and Sunday for severe weather, both of which could be significant days. Here's the trough on Sunday, negatively tilted. That's not usually a good sign when it comes to severe weather. And then as it goes, as we go into Monday, this would race off to the north and east. Even though it's still negatively tilted up here, we're not really looking at as much of a severe weather threat. We'd be looking at more rain, wind, and as well as some snow in some areas. Here's the low level jet. This gives us an idea of the rotation that can be expected in the lower levels. This amplifies the tornado risk. But notice as we go into late Saturday, not overly strong for this low level jet, but going into Sunday, things get a little bit more concerning. This is by the morning hours, very strong low level jet across the southern states right along the Gulf Coast. And if we have enough instability and moisture in the southeast, this could turn into a bit more of a dangerous day as we go into Sunday. We easily could see a few tornadoes on Sunday. Saturday, I would still expect that threat to be in play as well. Here's the instability. This gives us an idea of the amount of energy in the atmosphere, and we need instability for severe weather in most cases. Not a whole lot on Saturday, but that's enough. We still have around 500 joules per kilogram. That's enough. We don't really need a whole lot of instability for there to be severe weather. And then as we go into Sunday, we will have enough instability in the southeast for at least some level of severe weather. What that level will be, we'll kind of figure out here over the next few days and see where the ingredients are at that point. Here's the moisture content in terms of dew points. Notice as we go into Saturday, we will have plenty of moisture dew points in the low 60s. That'll create a lot of buoyancy across parts of Louisiana and Texas. And then going into Sunday, we will have that set up across parts of Georgia and South Carolina. This area in particular, I would be most mindful of going to Sunday, even back toward the west in parts of like the Florida Panhandle and right along the Gulf Coast should also be alert down there. Here's the temperatures for the next several days. I mentioned there will be a December heat wave. We will be talking about some areas in the northern plains being upwards of 20 to 30 degrees above average in that location. Crazy stuff there near record breaking high temperatures. Meanwhile, the east coast completely different story. Well below average temperatures stretching from Florida back into the northeast. This weather will stay here all the way through about Saturday. By the time we go into Sunday into Monday, a little cold blast behind this uh, low pressure system. So by Sunday into Monday, a little bit of cooler weather in the southern tier, but it's not going to really last very long. Overall, that warmer weather will start to return as we go into the next week. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.